Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Game, and today I bring you Omnibus. Now, I've got to say, the intro screen to this game gave me a sense of foreboding. I have a feeling this is a game about crashing into things and horrible physics-related stuff. I don't generally get along all that well with games like this, so let's see if this one is the exception. I highly doubt it. It's 15 minutes of game, as always, begins now. Sky Plane Dangerous. Wreck some relics. Sounds great. Let's drive a bus into some things. That's Dave Oshry. That's a person that I know. Why the hell is he on my computer and in my video game? I don't know, but I don't want him here. This is a bus. It is controlled with W, A, S, and D. Apparently, I'm supposed to destroy the tombs. It's a This is pinball, isn't it? Uh, right. Well then, so it is a sort of voxel-based blow-things-up kind of thing. Uh, well, I mean, it can't be that hard to just knock the tombs down, can it? You just drive into them and then they explode. I mean, I understand the principle behind it, yes. The question is, like, you know, how does it become difficult? What, where is the challenge to that? So, so far, the... Oh! Oh, it's that! Right. I see now. I understand. Thank you, game, for showing me the way. So, as you may have noticed, the level is inexplicably dotted with pinball bumpers, which will send your bus flying off the level. Also, it is not possible to stop your bus. At all. Once your bus stops, there ain't no stopping it. You can find it in the club. Possibly. Alright, I have to destroy 15 more tombs. Why would you put that in there? What kind of dickhead does that? If this is the frustration that can be generated by level 1, I cannot imagine how much worse this is going to get. So, we need to remember that there is a bumper inside this building. Because the person that designed it has a difficult home life. So we're going to slowly demolish the walls so we can see... I mean, I knew that was going to happen. I just, for some reason, was hopeful it wouldn't. I was a tad optimistic. I don't know why. This reminds me of something of the bear driving game that we played a long time ago. Except, you know, I think that the frustration level of the bear driving game was justifiable, whereas the frustration generated by this is clearly not, because this game was designed to be a dick, whereas honestly, driving as a bear is a challenge, and you should expect it to be so. That's a very accurate simulation, I feel, of how it would be were you to drive as a bear. Whereas this is not in any way an accurate simulation of what would happen if you were driving a bus. Why would you put the tombs inside these buildings so you have to do these sort of blind runs? I really, really do not know. It's like, is there a bumper that ruins your play? Or is there a tomb to demolish? Who knows? It's a fucking... It's a bucket of This is never going to end, is it? You know what's... I, I was not going to actually do this game, but the other game I was going to do, which I kind of remember the name of Battle for Sector something or other, which was in a sort of abstract space card game, wouldn't load. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, let's go to the next game on the press list of stuff that we have from recent review code, and that is Omnibus. Mistake. Mistakes were made today. We're nev this level is never going to end. We're never going to get out of it, and even if we do, all the game's going to give us is further misery later on. At least we got bounced in that direction, which is better. We can come back to that later. Okay, we can come back to that later. So there's obviously a couple more tombs in here, and there's probably one in there as well. Hopefully there's no bloody bumpers. All right, so we're down to 10. So there's a bunch of them in here. You just got to avoid that bumper. There are no brakes on this train, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed. Six tombs left. I'm just trying to figure out what the market for this game is other than people screaming on YouTube videos because I have a feeling that's a substantial portion of the market. I described it a while ago as something called PewDiePie. Games designed specifically to infuriate or interest YouTubers in some way. You know, YouTuber's life is a great example of that. It's like, oh, because a, a bunch of YouTubers will play it because like, ha ha ha, isn't it funny? I'm playing a simulator about the job that I do. Isn't that hilarious? This will make for great video content, says all of these chat. No, 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 there was one left. That did. Oh, my God. Mm. And our frustration will make this hilarious. Yeah. Uh, mm. 
yeah, that 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 seems to be what this game is designed to inflict upon people. I don't know if that's a great way to sell a lot of copies of your game, though. I think that uh, something like YouTuber's Life maybe would sell a decent amount of copies because it's a interesting take on a tycoon or simulation game. Whereas something like this is like, well, this game is just designed to freaking infuriate you constantly. Like, well, why? So, I mean, is there a reason to to buy a game like that? I wish the camera was a little bit more pulled out as well because. Making these turns can be an absolute nightmare. One of those bumpers can sneak up on you unexpectedly. And that should never be that. No! I wasn't even close to it! Oh. Because you've got such a sort of limited field of view with it that you end up turning around and then there's actually a bumper right there because they pull the camera in so close to that damn boss. I'm sure that's on purpose. Difficult home life. Something went horribly wrong. Dog died. Got run over by... Uh, an elephant or something. I don't know. This game is designed to inflict pain and suffering. No! Uh, it's fine, okay? Relax. Do I find this sort of thing enjoyable? No! No! No, not in the slightest! No, I do not. It's one of those games where you sort of have to persevere with it because you don't want to let it beat you. But simultaneously, you also have to realize there are some hills not worth dying on. All right, there's five more tombs left, and they should all be in this. There was a bumper in there. There's a bloody bumper in there, you son of a... Stop rolling. Stop it. No! Why would you even... <sighs> there's no desire to get better at a game like this. Yeah, there's the desire to sort of not let it defeat you, but I don't think that's a desire to get better at it. That's a desire just to tell it to go fuck itself. In so many words. Ugh. Look, if I have to suffer for nine more minutes, so do you. You don't get to escape the agony. Absolutely not. <laughs> the question you're probably asking is like, is this game any fun? No, it's not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I thought I had enough speed. Apparently not. It isn't. <laughs> it's not. At all. It's just annoying. That's really all it is. I think the idea of having sort of wacky, hilarious physics is is a selling point sometimes. But when you combine that with absolutely infuriating gameplay, I don't think that generates a fun experience, honestly. Oh god, you gotta hit these on the corners, bloody hell. Alright, so there's one left there. One of those has a... Actually, did I empty the one with a bumper in it? I think so. All right. So that leaves me with a couple more. You got this one over here. There's this one over here. But you've then got to make a quick turn and not hit that. All right, there's one more. And it's over there. This should be easy enough not to screw up. It's that one. All right. That's it, right? Done. Cool. Great. So very, very happy. I, I don't think... <laughs> Were I not doing this for a video, I do not think that this would be a game that I would continue to play. <laughs> Great. We finally did a level. And it's probably going to get even worse. Control in midair and reorient yourself. Flip over to break the blocks and land back on your tires. And you misspelled license. Well, at least they vary the levels up. I'll give it that. All right, so you, I think you've got, you got, so, yeah, you got some control of the angle of the bus here. Oh, kind of how it lands, and you've got to make sure it doesn't land on its side. Angling it is a little bit of a pain in the ass, I have to say. So every time you, oh. So, so I have to deliberately spin it, I guess, in order to actually break that. But you don't want to spin it too much, because otherwise you won't land properly. Oh, just... That's not going to work, is it? I don't know, like, half of it seems random. You know, maybe you'll land in the right way, and maybe you won't. Just keeping this damn thing balanced is a huge pain in the ass. So you've got to spin in order to break it, and then you can sort of start to even the thing out, but God knows how it's going to bounce when you hit the floor. You see, because it was fine now. I'm fine now. Great, there we go. Wonderful. And then we collect that. Awesome. But I felt like I didn't really have much of a say in that matter. 
It was more, oh, well, will you hit the ground in a specific way that actually lets you land on your wheels, or will you not? Use the speed boost. Can we not do that? That's the speed boost. Yay, all right. So there is a sort of platforming element to it. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, I, ca I kind of... I'm a bit disappointed they didn't start with these levels because they're a little bit more enjoyable than the whole, hey, destroy 18 of these tombs and we're going to hide bumpers everywhere and it's difficult to see because we're going to make a very narrow field of view so a bumper could come out of everywhere and ruin your experience. Arr, arr, arr. You know, this is, a, this is a little bit more enjoyable than that. Well, that's obviously gone, yeah. I think you can also... Yeah, can you skip ahead? Yeah, you can actually try different levels here. No, no, absolutely not. Do tricks, spin around in mid-air, combo them by getting back in the air quickly after you land, make $10,000 on the bumps and stuff. Well, at least, it, again, each of the levels is different. It's just that first level, it's like, oh, this is great. This is absolutely infuriatingly annoying. Like, I don't, I don't really think that's a, that's a great first impression. I, I think you're probably better off starting with a level like this, because at least it, it emphasizes the whole, the game is based on wacky physics kind of thing. As opposed to, oh, this is about precision and avoiding the annoying crap. We now th this, I can I can see how this would be entertaining. Although actually, getting to hit the buttons, I'm not sure if there's any actual skill involved in that, or it really just comes down to random chance. I mean, the game sort of advertises itself as having a bunch of awful physics. And it does. <laughs> that simultaneously means that you don't have that much control over what's happening. I've got to... Uh, did, I, did I win? No. Apparently I didn't. So I suppose you've, you've got to win $10,000 before you hit the ground again. So you can keep trying stunts. It... Yeah, I mean, that earned some money. I thought I'd earned like 18,000. Maybe I think it was part of that combo, but you've got to then land that combo. Otherwise, it doesn't count. I guess that's got something to do with it. But I don't feel like I have a huge degree of control over what's actually happening. Like that, for instance. Like, I, did, I didn't do that. The bus just randomly did it. Oh, dear. I mean, I'll give him credit for the level variety, at least. If it was any more levels like that, and there probably are more levels like that, I'd say this game sucks. But at least, you know, there are some levels which are pretty entertaining. And have different takes on the whole physics-based nonsense. So, credit to them for that. It's a shame you have to play that damn first level and be so horribly infuriated by it. If it's more stuff like this and less stuff like the first level, then that's pretty cool. That is apparently a specific move. There you go. It's weird how they have so many different names for all these ridiculous maneuvers. The question is, can I do this without falling off the edge of the level? <laughs> also, why did my bus flip in that particular direction? Does anybody know that? And on the side. I think that the main problem is that it's not really predictable as to when or not you're going to land on your side like that. Because you get thrown up in the air, and at that point, you're sort of trying to wiggle your bus in the right direction. But the physics are so wonky that half the time you'll land on the wheels and half the time you won't, and then that ends your run. You don't have a great degree of control over that. I mean, what it's doing right now, I'm not doing any of that. But that was apparently a third... There you go, I, I completed the mission. I didn't do anything. <laughs> That's what you gotta understand. I didn't really do anything other than drive at one of them and then that happened. That's a little bit, like, too random for my liking. I know if you're gonna market your game as wacky physics, hey, 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 then I understand why you would have wacky physics, but simultaneously, you gotta have some level of control, otherwise the game's playing you. All right. Avoid the bump. <laughs> Go to hell. And you obscure the bumpers with a bunch of crap. Thank you. That's great. I can't see anything. 
Oh, I hate you video games. Mm. You know, I was almost starting to warm up to the game a little bit and then it threw this at me and now I want to hate it all the more. I don't pay money to be miserable. You know, that's what taxes are for. That's, we don't need video games that do that. Please. Thank God, random chance. No! I should have seen that coming, really. I did. I just thought I could get over it in time and I was horribly mistaken. <laughs> no. No, I don't. I don't at all want to keep at it. Not in the slightest. Oh, good lord. Uh, that's Omnibus. I <laughs> hate it. I, I, I'm curious to know what's going on with the, uh, the free play. Oh, I have one level unlocked, I guess. This is the free play, where I guess you drive around flipping the bus over a bunch of times and blowing things up. I think this game was designed to make you hate it, though. There doesn't appear to be any effort whatsoever to be accommodating. I can see why people would enjoy watching people play it. But that doesn't mean I want to buy it. And it certainly doesn't mean I want to play it on my own time. Not on any stretch of the imagination. Ugh. Omnibus. Coming to a local PewDiePie clone near you. Thank you very much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, do free feel free to click the like button. I didn't! <laughs> if you didn't, then you can click the dislike button as well, and I won't think any less of you. I will see you next time. Ugh.